Welcome back to Manly Focus Channel. Today, we're diving into a controversial, yet profoundly important topic in the realm of romantic relationships. We're going to talk about understanding the red flag of promiscuity in women and what it could mean for you. Remember, our intention is not to judge or disrespect anyone but to help you make more informed decisions in your love life. So, grab a seat, get comfortable, and let's dive into today's topic. In the realm of romance and relationships, the importance of discernment cannot be overstated. Selecting a suitable partner often entails navigating a maze of personal behaviors, attitudes, and histories. Among the many potential red flags that men must be aware of when selecting a partner is promiscuity. This topic is often a sensitive one, given its potential to elicit judgment and negative connotations. Nevertheless, it is a crucial aspect to consider when gauging compatibility and the potential for a successful long-term relationship. A woman's sexual history is often seen as a reflection of her character, choices, and values. This perspective is anchored in the broader social and cultural narratives that hold differing expectations and standards for men and women regarding sexual behavior. For women, preserving their value has traditionally been linked with maintaining their purity or virginity. This historical context underpins the discussion of promiscuity as a red flag. However, it's essential to approach this topic objectively and consider the psychological and sociological implications rather than merely the moral aspect. Understanding the correlations between a woman's sexual behavior and her likelihood to maintain a monogamous relationship long-term can be key in making informed choices about your relationship. There's a body of evidence suggesting that a woman's sexual history can impact her ability to maintain a long-term relationship. Multiple studies have shown that women who lose their virginity at a younger age and have had more sexual partners are less likely to sustain a monogamous relationship over time. Consider this hypothetical comparison. A woman who lost her virginity at 16 and has been with 30 men is less likely to sustain a long-term monogamous bond compared to a woman who lost her virginity at 23 and has only had two long-term partners. This dynamic is crucial to understand, especially for men considering monogamous long-term relationships or even marriage. In fact, research from the Institute for Family Studies highlighted that a virgin bride had only a 5% chance of divorce after five years of marriage. In contrast, a woman with two previous partners had a 30% chance of divorce. The likelihood of divorce increased further for women who had 10 or more partners. The implications of these findings are significant. It suggests that promiscuous women, those who have had many partners or who have been sexually active from a young age, do not often make good long-term partners. That's not to say these women can't or won't strive to be good partners. However, Statistics demonstrate the potential challenges inherent in relationships with these individuals. Promiscuity isn't just a marker for potential relationship instability. It's also associated with other negative outcomes. Women with higher sexual partner counts are more likely to report depression, become single mothers, possess personality disorders, and have abortions compared to women with fewer sexual partners. While some might argue that a woman's sexual past is her business alone, when considering a long-term relationship or marriage, her past becomes part of your shared future. Ignoring these potential complications and consequences could lead to difficult situations down the line. Although a woman's sexual history might be relevant to the long-term success of a relationship, obtaining a clear and honest picture of that history can be challenging. Cultural norms and the fear of slut-shaming often make women reluctant to disclose the actual number of their sexual partners. As a result, the number provided, if any, can often be understated. Some women only count sexual encounters within the context of formal relationships, disregarding one-night stands, casual encounters, or friends with benefits arrangements. For a more accurate estimation, it might be wise to at least double the number provided. This, however, should not be used as a license to invade a woman's privacy or disrespect her. Instead, this awareness should simply serve as a tool for discernment in your relationship journey. A woman's lifestyle and the company she keeps can offer valuable insights into her sexual history. A woman who claims to have maintained a long-term relationship from the time she lost her virginity and who has a relatively drama-free romantic history, for instance, may likely have a low sexual partner count. On the other hand, a woman who has lived independently, traveled extensively, and had no stable relationships might have a significantly higher partner count. This is particularly the case if she spent her younger years, usually between 20 and 27, 
engaging in a party lifestyle. It is not uncommon for women during these years to accumulate a substantial number of partners. Furthermore, a woman's social circle can often reflect her behavior. If her friends engage in promiscuous behavior, there is a likelihood that she might also engage in similar behavior. The saying that birds of a feather flock together holds some truth in this context. Understanding these dynamics is not about passing judgment or promoting double standards. It is about recognizing the potential implications of a woman's sexual history on her capacity to sustain a long-term monogamous relationship. Men and women have distinct ways of deriving their value, women traditionally from preserving their value and men from creating their value. Historically, a woman's virginity has been prized as a marker of her value, whereas a man's value comes from his ability to provide, preside, and protect. All these insights should contribute to your decision-making process when considering a potential long-term partner. The topic of a woman's sexual history might be uncomfortable, and the concept of promiscuity as a red flag might be controversial. However, these are discussions worth having for the sake of your future relationship's health and stability. Approach this with understanding and empathy, recognizing that everyone has a past, and what matters most is how they've learned and grown from it. But at the same time, be aware of the potential implications and consequences of your potential partner's sexual history. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be better equipped to make informed choices about your romantic relationships. In summary, while promiscuity might be viewed as a red flag, remember that it's just one of many factors that can impact a relationship. Using this information judiciously can help you navigate the complex world of romantic relationships, contributing to healthier decisions that align with your life goals and relationship expectations. Alright, we've covered a lot of ground in this discussion about promiscuity as a potential red flag in women. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe to Manly Focus for more content designed to guide you through the intricacies of relationships. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay focused, and navigate your relationships with wisdom and respect. Until next time.